Hey guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. We're bringing you a do-it-yourself repair video today. Uh, we're diagnosing a computer that's not charging anymore. Uh, the video down bottom you'll see the link for is, is the first step you would do. Uh, you would test with a multimeter. We're showing you how to, how to, how to use one of these. Uh, the video down below shows you how to use the multimeter to test your actual charger or your power adapter cord that plugs into the wall uh, to make sure that's working. Uh, but if you've already done that and you've confirmed your charge is working, then we're going to move on to the power jack in your motherboard to make sure that's not the issue. Uh, your power jack uh, is where your charger cable actually plugs into. So this is the end. I'm going to show you right here. This is the end of your charger cable that plugs into your computer. The other end plugs into your wall outlet. And this will plug into your computer right here. Or wherever your uh, cable plugs in. So. This is the power jack that we're going to be testing today. Is the thing that takes the power from the wall outlet into your motherboard. We're going to test and see whether that's working or not uh, as the next step in the diagnosis. First thing you want to do, uh, we have a charger cable here that we've confirmed works. Make sure that it's the right voltage and amperage for your laptop. Your laptop will say underneath uh, what the voltage rating should be and what the amperage rating should be. The voltage rating of your charger cord needs to be spot on. Uh, the amperage rating needs to be equal to or less than uh, what your laptop is calling for on the bottom. Uh, so what we've done is we've opened this computer up to gain access to the uh, power jack. If you need help with a disassembly video, we do have several. Uh, all models of computers are generally a little different, but they're all generally the same. Uh, feel free to search for uh, a disassembly video on, on your particular model laptop so you can get into this safely. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, this is the multimeter. Uh, this one is a uh, Proster. I hope that's how you pronounce it. We got it on Amazon for 30 bucks, so they're not that expensive. Uh, what you'd want to do is you're going to want to set it to the voltage rating. You see two V's here. You're going to want that bottom one. It's going to have a symbol next to it. A long line on top, three little lines on bottom. That's the voltage rating we want this to be on. So I'm going to set it on that. And a way you can remember that is if you take your charger cable, as you can see the voltage rating here is 19 volts. I'll show you. 19 volts. And it's got that same symbol. Long line top, three short lines at the bottom. So that'll help you. That's the same symbol. We're matching it up with V with that line symbol. Now we're working with power here. A lot of videos you see we have, there's no power. The, the battery is gone. The power is not plugged in. So it's somewhat safe to work on. But we are working with live power now, so be very careful when you do the things we're going to show you. Uh, we're working with uh, power adapters being plugged in. We're also working with metal prongs that we're going to be uh, touching connections with. If you drop these metal prongs on a spot in your motherboard that we're not testing, and you make a connection that's not supposed to be made, you're going to hear a spark, you, you may see a little smoke, and your computer's toast. So be very, very careful when we're going through this. Keep the prongs separate, keep them away from your motherboard, and when we show you uh, different connections uh, to touch, make sure you're only touching those connections, and when you're done, bring those straight out of the computer. You don't want to touch anything that you're not supposed to. So, all right, so let's make and, uh, check and see whether this is working. This is my uh, end of my charger cable. The other end's plugged into the wall, and we have confirmed this is working. Uh, again, by the video down bottom, the previous video. So I've plugged it into the, ch uh, the power jack, and now I'm going to try to see whether this power jack is uh, putting out the voltage on this end. That way I know that it's getting sent in into the motherboard. So you're going to take your black end, match it up to one of the pins here, match it up to one of the black uh, cabled ends there, and then take your red uh, red stands for power, red stands for positive. Plug that into the red one there. Uh, obviously you have to touch the metal. You can't touch this plastic casing, so get it inside and touch those plastic casings. As you can see, my multimeter is reading almost zero. It's fluctuating pretty close to zero. So after reading the back of the charger, seeing that this charger is supposed to be putting out 19 volts, zero is nowhere near 19. So pretty safe to say this uh, power jack is bad. So what we're going to do is uh, one of the ways we're going to fix this problem is by putting in a new power jack. This is a new one here that we got. And let's show you what it looks like when a power jack is working. 
We'll plug the cord right in there as if it was plugged in on the computer. And let's test this one. Same way we tested the last one. Black prong in the middle there on the metal. There we go. So yeah, so if you see there, 19 volts or at least pretty close to it, well within margin of error, 19 volts is coming out of this end of the power jack and we know it's going in that end. So that, that's what a power jack looks like when it's working. So in order to fix this computer, we're going to take this power jack and put it in there. So another thing, as you continue your diagnostic further into the interworkings of your computer, now we, in the previous video we tested your charger, we just showed you how to test your power jack. Now let's test your power jack port on your motherboard to make sure that when this now is plugged in, that that's supplying power in, into your motherboard. So we're going to take this port, plug it into your motherboard, right there. We're going to take this end, plug it into the power jack. And again, guys, just to reiterate, this is now a live motherboard with live power going into it. I'm keeping this well away from any other metal on my motherboard and hold that so it stays away from my motherboard. So again, just to reiterate, this is a live motherboard and again, I'm not going to take these and go touching stuff. You, you, you got to keep these away from the motherboard or you're going to ruin it. So I have this plugged in, charger works, jack works, let's see if the port works. I'm going to take this, put the positive onto the metal bracket that's near the positive, put the negative or the black on a corresponding one in black. The multimeter is reading, again, well within margins of 19 volts. So this is the third step in the diagnostic of why your laptop's not charging. Charger, jack, uh, port. So now we've confirmed that it's getting into uh, the motherboard. The motherboard is receiving power. So again, please like if this video was helpful on how to diagnose your non-charging issues. Uh, please uh, subscribe and share if you like do-it-yourself laptop repair. Thank you very much for watching.